This tutorial is sponsored by Patreon. Thank you all for your support. Welcome everyone. So in today's episode, you're gonna learn how to equip the flashlight and make it uh, get inside of your hands. And also, if we don't have flashlight, we won't be able to press F to open the flashlight. So enjoy the tutorial. Welcome everyone to 22nd episode of Horror Project. So uh, in this episode, uh, we are gonna cr create a flashlight so it can be, you know, you can interact and pick it up. Because currently, right now, uh, it's very uh, cheap how we made it. Uh, basically, you press F and you open it and close it. But that's not what we want. So, uh, we're gonna make it so you can pick it up. And uh, then, once you pick it up, you're gonna have the flashlight. Okay. So, first thing that I wanna do is, I will go to the props. I will create a new folder and call it flashlight. And I have here my flashlight model, which will be able, uh, it will be available for the download in my Discord server under the channel community assets. So just go to the community assets right here and I'm gonna make it uh, be here. So you can check it out. Once video is out, you will have it there. Okay, so I will take this flashlight FBX pull it inside of the flashlight and press import all, that's all. Okay, and as you can see now, we have flashlight. Perfect. Okay, so now let's go inside of our um, house that we made in the last episode. And here, we're gonna make that uh, same flashlight uh, pick upable. But to make that, we need to make it as an actor uh, to be precise, blueprint actor. So let's just go to the blueprints actors and let's uh, duplicate our. Was it this one? Yep, it's this one. Just duplicate the BP interaction and call it BP flashlight. Like that, it should be by default uh, set up to implement BP BPI interact uh, and on interact. We should have it, and is interactable should be ticked. Okay, so how can we make this system? Well, it's basically all about the boolean, which says, do we have flashlight, true or false? And that boolean is going to be inside of our characters, player, HP character. So basically, this character is going to store information if we have flashlight. So, create new variable has flashlight question mark okay perfect so this boolean is going to um, determine if we can turn it on or not okay but <clears throat> there needs to be some way that we can access uh, that uh, boolean so here we have this casting and I'm gonna remove this cast as we won't need it anymore also, this project is uh, not very optimized with the code, that we had a lot of castings, because it's a very old project as well. And uh, in the future episodes, I really want to go over it and fix a lot of stuff that we have here to make it as optimized as it gets. But don't worry, all uh, modern PCs can handle this, of course. But that doesn't stand uh, that, you know, some weaker PCs, some of them cannot. Okay, so... Now I'm gonna use interfaces, and here we have we, we have only two interfaces that we use, but let's create another blueprint. So right-click blueprint interface, BPI flashlight. Okay. So we will go into HP character, and we are going to go to the class settings, and we are going to implement BPI flashlight like that. So now we can open the BPI flashlight and let's call this um, flashlight, flashlight picked up. And let's add input. I will show you in a second why. So add input that is going to be of type boolean and call it success. Or 
flashlight picked up better. Compile, save. So because we created this input now, if we go to our HP character, under the interfaces we should see flashlight picked up, and that's only if we implemented it here in the class settings, right here. So let's double click, like that, and now we see we have this input that says flashlight picked up, so if we drag the has flashlight and set has flashlight, now we can just make like that. Okay, but how do we use this? Well, so now with this one, event flashlight picked up, we can set direct message to our player character. And it's going to be our interacting player. So let's call has, uh, let's see what's the name, flashlight picked up. So if you go from the interacting player and type flashlight picked up, you will see flashlight picked up in the brackets message. This is the one that we need. And now we can set that to be true. Because when we pick up the actor, when we interact with it, when we press E on it, we want it to say, okay, we picked up flashlight. But after that, I will destroy the actor, which is going to be my flashlight. So I'm going to destroy it. So when we pick up the flashlight, there is no more flashlight on the table. So let's add static mesh into the viewport, call it flashlight. And into the static mesh, we can just type in flashlight and we're going to see our model here. We can compile and save. And now if we go to the blueprint actors here, you can see we have a flashlight. So this flashlight is now in our level. We can put it like that. But it doesn't do anything. And we, when we pick it up, it doesn't matter uh, because we, you know, even if we don't pick it up, we can uh, basically open the flashlight. And there is a very logic reason why. And that's why, because um, in our HP character, we have these functions turn on flashlight and turn off flashlight. Well, to be able to fire this event, what we need is we need Boolean. So we can only turn off flashlight if we set this, if we get has Boolean, sorry, if we get has flashlight and connect it to the branch. So only if we have flashlight, if that's true, we can turn it off. We can copy this, go to the turn on flashlight, and also here. So we are going to be able only if we have flashlight, of course, turn it on and off. Okay, so if we press play now, I press F, I cannot. But if I press E on the flashlight, I can. And also, we did this without casting, so it's very clean way. We use the interfaces, so it's very good practice. Okay, so we got that covered. But how do I enable flashlight model? Well, let's just add static mesh. Static mesh. Call it flashlight. flashlight model and just find static mesh flashlight like this so now this is your camera and what I like to do is you basically go to content characters player and you pull it inside of the world and select it so now you have the view and now what I can do here is I can drag this and I can make the as you can see I can make my flashlight go where I want. So for example, I'm going to make it go that way, like that. Of course, you can play with this however you like, you know, you don't have to do it like I do. So for example, this will work for me. And now I'm just going to put it to my, uh, to follow my camera. Also, if you want to make it more realistic, uh, this flashlight can go on the top of the, you know, on the top of the head. But you don't have to do it. It's all if you want. And also, don't uh, don't forget, 
we need to disable cast shadow on this flashlight. So this light doesn't cast shadow on this one. Okay. Uh, also, we will make it by default not visible because we, we want to make it visible only when we turn on the flashlight. So how do we do that? It's also pretty simple. So go to the turn on flashlight and after has flashlight. So if we have flashlight, before we turn it on, we're gonna just make this model visible. Set visibility. So drag flashlight model, set visibility. And it's just simple like that. Also make sure to tick new visibility. So now go to turn off flashlight, do the same and just copy paste it. And new visibility should be not ticked here. So if we go now, uh, I'm pressing F, but I don't have flashlight. If I press E, as you can see, my flashlight is in my hand. And it works. If I turn off flashlight, I lose it. If I turn on, I get it. So this is very basic way of setting up the flashlight. But it's the better than one that we had, and um, I think it's going to help a lot of you. So, thank you guys for watching, and see you in the next episode.